I'm going to show how to transfer characters or entire squads between saves. So we will transfer Sally to Harry's save file. So we first start code by going to Sally's file. This will transfer uh, all the inventory items of Sally. It will transfer her health and also the skills. It won't transfer uh, any technology or faction relations, but it will transfer bounty. So we will so we will create a new squad. We can call it whatever we want. It doesn't matter. And we are going to move Sally to that squad. Then we are going to make a new save. We are going to call this save from. And we are going to go to Harry's save, which is where we are going to move Sally. Once here, we will create a new squad. We can again name it whatever we want, but it doesn't matter. And once here, we are going to save the game again and we are going to call it 2. Now we can quit the game. Now we te you technically don't have to do this part, it is useful in case you get confused. We will go into the Kenshi modding tool, which is the Forgotten Worlds tool. You can also find it in the game files. We will click on Open Any, and then we are going to go to where our save files for Kenshi are. It might be in the Steam Apps game file, but for me it isn't. It is in my app data folder, and I'll in the description leave a link to where you can find that. We are first going to look at the file that we are going to take the character from. We are going to platoon. We will find our platoon. It should be called nameless one or whatever we named it. And now that we are here, we are going to go look at nameless one, which is where our character should be. Yes, Sally is here. Meaning that we have to transfer nameless one. Then we are going to look at two, and we are going to make sure that the nameless one file is empty. It is empty, meaning that we can transfer our character here. Now I'm in the folder for the actual save files, and I'm going to go to from. I'm going to copy nameless one. Then I'm going to go to 2, and before placing it, in the, placing it in the platoons file, I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to make sure that this platoon file and the one that I'm going to replace it with have the same name. So we're going to replace it with nameless1, and it's called nameless1. They, should have, they need to have the same name. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete nameless1, and I'm going to put the character from the other save into here. And now everything should be working. If you want to make sure that it is working, you can go into the modding tool again and check that they are the same file. Now that we are here, we can see that the characters have been transferred in the same save file. They will be in the location that you left them in. They will keep all their items and they will be in the same faction. This is basically it. Now I've learned this from another Steam forum post that I'll link in the description, but the way it does it is a little more complicated and this is a more simplified version. You technically don't even have to use the modding tool, you can just hope that you got in the correct platoons. It's better to check. I'll also leave a written description of what I've done in the description.